Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a declutter. This is my end of the year decluttering and a lot of these are from my December use it or lose it tray. If you haven't seen my other video, you should watch it because it was very telling. It was a very challenging tray to do for some reason because I wasn't excited to reach for some of those things so I might incorporate that throughout the year so I can weed out anything else that's not a love for me in my collection. But anyways, Let's get started because we have a lot of perfumes to cover. So I'm going to start off with an oil that's not technically a spray perfume, but it's an oil impression of Spiritus Double Vanille by Oil Perfumery. It's a very nice, decent, slightly powdery vanilla, a little bit musky, a little bit too musky for me actually. It smells a bit old, old fashioned. Is that the right word? Is that offensive? Vintage? It smells like something that I smelled 20, 30 years ago, and not that I don't like it, it just doesn't smell modern enough for my taste. And it's not because I don't like older scents, it's just because my taste is, I think, a little bit later in the 90s. Wait, that the 90s was 30 years ago. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm a millennial, I still think the 90s was like 10 years ago. But it smells more mature than my taste. I don't tell my taste to be that way. They just are. It's nice. It's a very lovely scent, but it doesn't feel like me. I don't think it smells bad. It's just not something that I want to wear on my body. So anyways, that is Spiritus Double Vini. I'm just going to set them out here. Next is a little travel. I think I might have decanted some of this to somebody because I know I didn't wear this unless it's spilled, but it's this little decant of milk by Commodity. And I believe this is the Expressive not the personal and not the bold. This has so much aroma chemicals, like there's a nice woody milky fragrance in there and then just a bunch of isoe super or something that's a bit too strong. And I mean like it's very, very powerful in this one. And I understand why they do it. They do it because milk is not a very loud scent. So they have to add in aroma chemicals to make them project. But that's where, that's where they get ruined for me. So I'm going to get rid of this. I don't see if somebody wants this because it's not very much. Next is the Dua brand Blueberry Cookies. I did get a bit of a nice blueberry cookie vibe, but again, there's so much ISOE super or maybe some other aroma chemical. It was too much for me, so this one is going. Next, I have a decant of YSL's Manifesto. This wasn't really for me. It smells like a nice sophisticated vanilla. It's just not really my vibe and and I know somebody else would get a lot of use out of this. There's somebody in my personal life that wanted it and somebody already messaged me online but I know that somebody else would be very very happy to have this. It just wasn't really for me. I already tried wearing it and I like it but I definitely don't feel identified with it in any way. It doesn't feel like it smells like me so I'm just gonna let it go so somebody else can enjoy it. Next is Clinique My Happy Cocoa and Cashmere. I don't really get chocolate in here. I get like a soft, powdery, vanilla, almondy vibe with a woody base, but it's also very, very light, a touch of an aroma chemical, and just overall very, very light. This is the perfume that I've smelled the most alcohol in ever. I think this might smell like alcohol when you spray it longer than even body mist. Like this is pure alcohol and barely any perfume it just it wasn't very interesting actually it smells almost identical the whole vibe is almost exactly like silver moon by pacifica i got the same thing where it was like barely there but this might even have more alcohol but anyways this one's going i literally just unboxed this not that long ago and it was a waste all right next i'm letting go of britney spears private show it's the original private show this is a one ounce bottle. This used to be very coveted and like limited edition or hard to find back in the day, but now I think it's kind of everywhere again. And I love the opening, but as soon as it dries down, it just kind of smells cheap, like a cheap celebrity fragrance. Even though the idea of the perfume and the notes is really good, the execution of it is just cheap. <laughs> and I like the opening, but right away you can tell that it's just a cheapy fragrance. That's just to my nose. I'm sorry if that's offensive. My nose is a snob, not me. 
I will wear anything that smells good to my nose, regardless of price. So when I say cheap, I just mean it smells cheap. Not that it is cheap, you know what I mean? So that's Private Show by Britney Spears. This was supposed to be like a milky coffee perfume, but like I said, I don't really get much of that, just cheap vibes. And I forgot to do these with the little ones, but this is Winter Spirit by Skylar. This would be a really, really nice perfume if it wasn't for the aroma chemicals. Um, it has brown vanilla bean and warm amber. It's kind of interesting, but eh, aroma chemicals ruined it. And same thing with this one. This has lavender, freesia, and amber. I kind of get the, the vibe of the notes, but these are just not for me. So maybe I'll get rid of these in a bundle or something. Next, I'm getting rid of Brazilian Crush Charosa 68. This is a lot like Baccarat Rouge, except lighter and airier and grosser. You know how some people get that plasticky dental office vibe, like dental work, dental, what is it, like dental equipment vibe from BR540? Well, I feel like this has that enhanced, like it's more because there isn't enough sweetness or depth in there. It's a little bit too airy and it just really leans towards like dental office vibes. So almost like chemically weird. I don't like it. So I'm going to get rid of this and I'm pretty sure I know who wants this already too. Next is Victoria's Secret Bombshell Passion. I used to absolutely love this. It's a syrupy, dark, seductive berries with some kind of aroma chemicals but like an intoxicating concoction. I love it but the aroma chemicals just kind of bug my nose a little bit unfortunately because before I picked that up this was a perfume that I found absolutely intoxicating and I used to love it and like I said in my other video this reminds me to wear the things that I love while I love them because that love for them may not last forever. Unfortunately when you have a lot of perfumes and wear a lot of perfumes and smell a lot of perfumes your taste is constantly adjusting and like evolving so I evolved out of loving this perfume and that's tragic to me because of how strongly I used to feel about it but anyways it is what it is now I'm gonna declutter it sadly and this is another thing that my nose did is now I find the patchouli in here to synthetic and it kind of smells like acetone this is femme by usher and i love the opening of this it kind of gives me like chanel perfume vibes it smells similar to a chanel lancome perfume very nice elevated elegant a little bit of woods in the base along with some patchouli and just like a very very small touch of a natural raspberry i love the scent of this but the patchouli note but the patchouli note specifically is giving is like bothering me a little bit and it's just kind of irking me because it goes a little bit towards acetone and I get that sometimes with some more affordable patchoulis or even something like the Jimmy Choo perfumes I can't do the patchouli in there unfortunately or even like a lot of the Calvin Klein perfumes have that same kind of patchouli I don't know what it is it's a certain kind maybe it depends of where it's manufactured but unfortunately I can't I can no longer wear this and again I really wish that I worn it I would have worn it more when I still loved it gotta learn my lessons the hard way I guess all right next I am letting go of Nina Richie what is this actually what is this called is this Rose Extas yes this is Rose Extas and I like roses and I like powdery roses I don't know what's in here that's a little bit too screechy and sharp for me but it just feels like it's missing some sweetness I wish it had more raspberry I don't know if this has raspberry but I wish it had something fruity in there or something more sweet something maybe syrupy in the base I wish it gave me more I mean I could try layering it and looking for something that that would bring that out like that would balance it out but I'm a little bit lazy to do that I have so many things already that I love that I don't see the need to do that but if anything changes you know if I test it with like something in it and it smells amazing I might keep it but I highly doubt it at this point I've already tried wearing it a good four or five times and each time I don't feel my best when I'm wearing it so I don't see the point of keeping it anymore or even trying too hard to make it work you know so that is Nina Ritchie La Extase and I really wish this would have worked for me. And I, I think it's me. I think lately I haven't been loving Rose as much as I used to. 
Next is Chamaoud Mason de Parfum Light de Biscuit, which is cookie milk. I had this in my other declutter from my previous video as well. The same thing I said in the other video, which is I don't really get enough milk or even cookie. I'm mostly getting like a dusty, chocolatey vibe. And I mean, it's called milk of cookies. So I want milk and cookies. I know that there's like chocolate chip cookies, but I'm just getting dusty chocolate, almost like waxy, resinous chocolate. It almost smells like the parchment paper after those chocolate chip cookies were removed and you just have like the leftovers, the remnants. It's like chocolate chip cookies were baked here, but they're no longer here. Either because you ate them all or because the person who baked them didn't share with you. Either way, it's a little bit sad. So it kind of just smells like a sad chocolate. I have better chocolate, so I don't need to... I don't need to keep this one if it's going to now be in the chocolate category, which is all I'm getting from my nose. All right, next is Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. I kind of like this. I like the powdery feminine aspect of it, but what I don't like is a little bit of the aroma chemicals that smell, I think it's Ambroxan, that, that's in Good Girl perfume. So I get a touch of that. I'm not a big fan. I don't dislike this at all. I just don't love it. And because of that, I'm not excited to reach for it. So I don't want to keep it. This is something that I, like the old me, 2023 me would totally have kept this. But 2024 me, I'm just kidding. But, to, well, am I kidding? I mean, I'm not, that, I'm not kidding that much. 2024 me isn't keeping anything around that I am a, even a little bit hesitant to reach for. You know, I'm trying to really decipher all of these little subconscious things that come with perfume wearing and collecting and all these little things so when I hesitate to reach for something that means I'm not going to reach for it over the things that I absolutely love so there's no point in keeping it keeping it so I'm totally getting rid of good girl supreme and lastly I am getting rid of jazz club and by the fireplace these have been on the chopping block for some time already but I keep I kept going back and forth I really wanted to like By the Fireplace because I absolutely love, love, adore the dry down of this. It's this like chestnutty baked vanilla or baking vanilla. It's such a delicious, yummy vibe in the dry, dry, dry down. So I can't wear perfume for four or five hours to get there. You know, it doesn't make sense, especially because most of my outings are four or five hours and then I want to come home and be done. So. This is going to smell good by the time I get home, not when I'm still out and about. Or I can put it on in the morning if I'm going out in that night. But it doesn't make any sense. I don't love it. I really, really don't like, like the pepper in here. It's like too spicy, too peppery. It smells like it's uncomfortable. That pepper in here is definitely uncomfortable. And then Jazz Club, although I like it, I used to like it more. Now I'm really getting a lot of the woodiness. It's like this really deep woodiness. It reminds me of the woodiness in older Carolina perfume, Carolina Herrera perfumes. That, is it 212? The 212 Carolina Herrera that men used to wear back in like the 2010s. And I'm kind of over that vibe. Not that I find anything wrong with it, but I, I think that's just a little bit too outdated for what I want. Like I said, my nose just changed. I suddenly get, pick up a lot of that woodiness and I don't love it. I think I even got some aroma chemicals from this, I'm not sure, but I'm just not loving it. So I'll probably sell these in a little set because that would be cute. I should have sold them for Christmas. That would have been a cute gift, but oh well. This is the season that I wanted to try to make them work. I've been like testing all of these things and that's how I realized that I don't want them. So that is all. That is all of my declutter. I think it's about 16. No, maybe it's 15 because I'm not sure. I took one out last minute. <laughs> I always do that. I like go back and forth. Anyways, that is my declutter. Let me know what you guys think if you have any of these. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I will see you guys in my next video. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.